Hey guys, this is going to be kind of a little mini review of a bunch of products. Well, not a bunch, like five or six. Um, they're the new kind of products that have been out in the drugstore. Um, and you know that I'm a sucker for new things, so you know that I have all of them. But um, I just wanted to give you guys a really quick little review, kind of my opinion on them. Instead of like... Because there has been so many new products that have come out um, since the year started, I didn't want to kind of make 17 videos, you know, I figured I'd just kind of cram it all into one. So I'm going to first start off with what people have been loving, and it's the kind of foam foundation situations. I have both. I have the Maybelline Dream Nude Mousse, which is that one. Um, and I have the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush, which these are both mousse makeup, so they both look like this. They're pretty similar. They remind me of spray paint. So I'll talk about the Revlon Photo Ready first. The color that I got mine in was in Rich Ginger um, because that is the color that I usually wear in the foundation. So basically all you're supposed to do is just shake it up and then kind of spray it out onto your hand. And then it comes out in a mousse form like this, but then as soon as you touch it, it kind of like goes away. Um, and it's really like creamy. You can see that a little bit goes like a really really long way. Now I do kind of like this foundation. The only thing that I do not like about this foundation is the amount of glitter that shows up on my face when I wear it. Now I know that the original one had little tiny flecks of glitter in it as well, but I never, never noticed it. Um, this one when I wear it and I look at myself outside, I can see the glitter on my face so much. And you guys know that I'm not really a fan of glitter situations like I want to put my highlight where I want to put it I don't want to be sparkling in the Sun all the time like that's just not my thing so that kind of prevents me from wearing this one um, I don't find it long-lasting at all I just do not like the amount of glitter I would not recommend wearing it in the light um, unless you like that sparkly look but I have oily skin already so I don't need anything to make me look more shiny than I already am. the next one is the dream nude air this one is in natural beige um, so this one is the same now this is a natural beige the same color that I have my dream liquid mousse which I absolutely love this foundation now look how light that foundation is so you touch it and it's the same thing and this one is horrible I mean horrible you no cover whatsoever like no coverage and when I wear foundation I like like full cover medium to full cover foundations because I just if I'm gonna put all this makeup on my face I want to look flawless when I'm wearing it you know like other than that what's the point I wouldn't even put makeup on it doesn't it looks splotchy on me when I apply it like I can never get it to look like smooth and I don't know like I've worn it twice and hated it both times like the first time I put it on my face I was like what is this took it off immediately I tried to give it another go because I thought maybe it was me I was like let me give him another chance no still hated him this is a complete like failure to me like I do not like this whatsoever so if I was gonna have to choose one of the foam foundations it would be this one the only thing that I don't like is that it has glitter in it and this one just blows <laughs> okay okay so the next two things I want to talk about are um, primers now we all know that the drugstore really doesn't have a lot of primers I think there was only like two L'Oreal magic perfecting base and then I know Rimmel had one and I think some other ones have one, but I've never found a drugstore primer that I've liked because I kind of like silicone-based primer. my preference, and maybe that's why I don't really like drugstore ones, but I figured that I would try them. Um, the first one is from Revlon Photo Ready, and it's just the Perfecting Primer. It just looks like this. Now, this stuff I do not like. I don't know why. Um, well, actually, I do know why, and I'm going to tell you why. To me, this is not a primer. This is just something they want you to stick on your face before you put your makeup on. It doesn't feel like a primer to me. It feels kind of like a really thick lotion that I put on my face. And when I wear it, it doesn't seem to make my makeup last longer. Um, when I put on my silicone based primers, my makeup will literally glide on my face. Like it doesn't even feel like I'm putting makeup on my face. When I put on a primer, it's like I'm creating a barrier between my skin and the foundation so that my foundation isn't like sinking into my skin. I don't feel like this helps me whatsoever. I just feel like I'm just putting lotion on my face or something. So I do not like this at all. I just think it's a waste. Like I don't know why. Like 
if you're gonna if you are looking for a drugstore primer and you don't want to um, like a silicone based primer and you don't want to spend thirty dollars on like the high end ones, try to get your hands on the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. I know it sounds really really creepy, but this is the best best primer that I've used. It's just silicone based. It's got more of it than high end primers, and it just works um, like beauty. Like this stuff, don't like at all. Like if you love it, that good for you, but <laughs> I just hate it because it's, I don't know, it just doesn't do anything. It doesn't make my makeup glide on. I feel like it makes my makeup kind of stick to my face, if that makes sense. It's like a, like tacky. I don't like it at all. And then this one is from L'Oreal and it's the Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer, which just looks like this. It's just a really slim little baby bottle. This one isn't, um, isn't silicone based either. If you have dry skin, I would recommend this. If you have oily skin, um, I'm not too sure if I would recommend this for you because you can see it does like give that oily effect um, because it is a light infusing primer. Now I do like to use this in conjunction with that Monistat primer and I'll put the light infusing primer just on the places that the light would naturally hit me. So I kind of use it more as like a highlighting primer because then I'll just put my primer there and it just makes it look like pow like in your face. So I do like this one but I just like it for my highlighting areas. I don't use this all over my face. Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. <laughs> This, the color that this one is, 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 the color that this one is in is in fresh pink. Now, I was really excited about these. These looked really, really cool, and I wanted to give them a try. Um, just looks like this. And it's kind of like a mousse situation. Um, and, yeah, no color payoff whatsoever. Like, can, what? What am I going to do with that? Like, I am tan and this is not going to work for me. So, these, this is the only one that I bought because I'm, I'm not going to buy more than one thing if I've never tried it. So, <clears throat> I'm glad that I didn't pick up any more. I think these are like six bucks. Um, I do have the receipts for all this, so all of it will be going back. But, I don't know. Like, these, this is just a waste of a product to me, too. Like, I don't know. Like, it just seems like all the new products that have come out this year, like, I'm just not really a fan of. I, I don't know. And then last but not least is the Garnier Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream in Medium Dark. A lot of you guys have been wanting me to talk about this. Here we go. So, I love original BB creams. Like, BB creams, like, I have ones from Korea that are amazing. The only thing that's not amazing about them is they don't really make them for darker skin tones because Asian skin tones are a lot lighter. That's the only downside to original BB cream. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, darker BB cream. I'm so excited. Not exciting face. I do not think that this is even comparable to an original BB cream. It's really thick, first of all, and then second of all, once you like blend it all out, it's like nothing. Like nothing on your face whatsoever. Well, to me, nothing. Like it's probably just a tinted moisturizer. That's what I compare it to is a tinted moisturizer. And to me, I'm not really a fan of tinted moisturizers. Like I... I either have makeup on or I don't have makeup on. There's not days where I have, oh, let me just put a tinted moisturizer on and run out the door. No, that's not who I am. Like I said, it's either all in or none at all. So to me, this isn't something really that I'm gonna use, but if you guys do have it, what I heard, what I was reading about it is if you want to use this kind of as a primer, you can. I um, tried it one day, but it didn't work for me at all. It just made my skin really, really oily, so I just passed on that. But if you have drier skin and you wanna use this as a primer, I've read that it'll make your skin look really, really nice underneath your makeup and all that good stuff. But for me and my oily skin, it just is not the business, so. I don't know, like I feel like all my stuff that, all the new stuff that I bought, I just, I don't really like. All in all, like, I mean, you guys can go out and try these products for yourself, like don't think that my word is it because it's obviously not, but <clears throat> I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on I wanted to try them out because it's all about trial and error and makeup. Like you're never going to know if you like something if you don't try it. So I have no problem spending money on products that even if I don't like them because I mean all those are going back to this dough. But um, yeah, so those are just my thoughts on some of the new products that have been out in the makeup world, in the makeup drugstore world. <laughs> I don't even know why I just did this, but I do like air quotations. So I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!